Hi guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to tutorial 3 of Vampire's Kiss. I have a lot of spare paper from cutting away the mini journal that we started to make. Only going to need small tags, so I think what we'll do is go along one way, cut the excess off. All we're doing is putting the Mod Podge down, fully trimming off that excessive piece and putting the next piece down, overlapping it with the top piece slightly. What masterboards do is they not only use up your spare bits of paper, but they create interesting backgrounds or journaling cards so that you can do something quite unique in your journal, even though you might be using the same set of digitals as someone else. to wet my brush a little and get some Mod Podge on it and quickly do a top coat to help make sure that all the papers are down. Another thing I tend to do is get some kind of smoothing tool, takes off some of the excess glue. And if you're not a fan of brush marks, it does actually help knock some of those out as well. I want to make sure that all the tags will fit the existing pockets and any potential pockets that we might make in the journal. Nine centimetre journal card by five and a half centimetres, that would be the maximum size card. I now have various cards that can be collaged on or a central piece added for our mini journal. I've printed up some of the fussy cuts on a smaller sizing. We have the castle there. I forgot to print up any words actually. I do have some words as well. I might have to do that in a minute. Have scraps of paper as well that we can use as extras behind things. Fold it slightly, but then tear along it for drama. Ink along the edges. Leave that one with the white border. Do with another piece of something down here. One more piece. That's a five-piece collage. I find my corner puncher. Okay, now we just need to place our pieces down. That's our first journaling card. And another thing I will be doing with all of them is using my spray and shine to protect the top. So from a distance, Spray it and let that dry and it gives you a shiny top coat. Here's all the little journaling cards and tags that I've managed to make from that master board. I'm hoping you can see them clearly enough. Some have some scraps at the back that I've stamped over. Others just have torn bits of the spare paper. You, I think you can see the stamping on that one. You can see bits of music paper. Three of the fussy cuts. I like this one because it reminds me of a belt. I love that black lace paper as it is. Sometimes the tags were so small I could only put one thing on. That's the reverse by the way in case you're wondering. You can write on the reverse of that. Hopefully you can see that high gloss finish. I will be back with the last tutorial, which will be to go through the journal, add pockets, add page decorations, and finish up. 